idealism breeds frustration. So what I was talking about in the previous video was this attentiveness to whether something is effective. You want to quickly assess, is it effective? How effective is it? Is it disappointing? Okay, I want to know that. That's when we have a clear target that is a real priority. However, when someone is pursuing an ideal and they encounter an ineffective method for producing that ideal outcome that they should have or that everyone should have, will they experience frustration when they discover that a method is ineffective? Because they just don't care. Frustration is a sign of interest. If you're ever surprised by how frustrated you are with something, then that is either an issue that you did not know was such a priority for you, or else you're venting some other frustration into that one, like a spillover. If you keep doing something that brings you frustration, then that is a, a sign that you are distracting yourself from your actual priority. When a real priority is clear, you won't keep using methods that are clearly ineffective and disappointing. You won't argue that they should be effective. You won't justify using them. You won't be interested in who can you blame for the ineffectiveness of that method. That's actually a huge <laughs> investment of time that some people will be experienced with or they will have witnessed other people investing time and energy and who can be blamed for the ineffectiveness of a method that is continuing to be used <laughs> even though it's recognized as ineffective. As soon as you recognize a method as ineffective, if something's your clear priority, then you'll stop using that method immediately. No big complexity, drama, controversy. Measure it, keep using it, stop using it, refine a little bit, slow down, you know, speed up if it's doing really great. That's what you're going to that's how you're going to operate. That's how you're going to um, process your assessment of different methods or each method. So you will quickly and precisely assess methods. And then if the results are disappointing, you'll stop. You'll stop using the method. You might never get to frustration. Frustration is about what? It's about disappointing results. It's about a method that does not consistently produce satisfying results. Maybe not at all. If you have a clear priority and disappointing results, then you'll stop your action. Because you, you want to only invest energy in things that actually have a reasonable chance of fulfilling on the clear priority. You'll value that you now have a clear understanding of the results of any particular method. Once you have gotten clear on the effectiveness of a method, you'll just value that clarity, the clear understanding of how effective is a particular method. And you won't persist in the use of irrelevant methods or uh, you'll, you'll even simplify your methods when relevant. And then you'll um, develop your methods into intricacy when relevant, when they're promising. And when they're working pretty well and you want to make them work better, then you can develop the intricacy. But if you find that something isn't working for you, you want to know that and you'll stop when you have a clear priority that you really want to fulfill on.